Tap into plumbers.co.uk for all your plumbing advice and plumbing videos. Hey guys, and welcome to another Tap Into Plumbers video. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how a compression fitting works, and we're gonna break it down and show you exactly what's inside of one. So guys, please subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell as well if you wanna keep up to date with the latest videos, and also whack a comment below as well, and if, if there's something that you want me to actually show you how to do, then whack it in the comments below. Okay, so here we have some of the tools, a couple of different compression fittings as well, um, and some uh, joining compound and some PTFE tape. So here we have the PTFE tape. Basically, it's just a, a thin bit of tape that you can wrap around the thread and stops any water seeping through the actual thread. Now this is a liquid form. Um, let's just open that a minute. I'll show you inside. Basically, it's like a gooey kind of liquid that you can also use on the joins as well. But we'll show you that in a bit. And then basically, just a couple of tools, some adjustable uh, grips there and an adjustable spanner as well. So first thing, I just want to show you, this is an elbow, and if we open it up, inside you'll have something that looks like this, which is called an olive, an olive ring. And basically, if you look inside, you can see that it's tapered. It's tapered inside the actual fitting itself. And this will sit nicely and snug inside of that with the nut and inside of the nut if you can see in the middle of that it's also tapered as well so when you clamp these two together if you can see it literally forms a nice watertight seal inside and that's pretty much it to these uh, fittings, they're quite easy to use. Um, there's nothing special about them. They're both the same on both ends. And you can get all different, different ones too. So this is an elbow, you can also get tees, you can get straight couplers, you can get reducing um, fittings as well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect up a compression fitting to just a little bit of copper, just like this. This is just for demonstration purposes. It's got a little bit of copper there, just a 15mm copper, uh, as these are 15mm fittings. So here goes. So basically what you want to do first is literally put your nut over the copper pipe first, then your olive, and then you can get your fit in, and make sure that it's in there as well. Sometimes it can be a little bit tight, but this one goes all the way in. You can also mark to see actually how far it is, or even put your nail there and pull it out, so you know that it's actually gone all the way in, as you can see, just like so. So then all you wanna do is tighten the nut up to the screw as tight as your hands can do it and then you want to get yourself a your adjustables just like so you want to hold that part of it get your spanner adjust it to the nut and then all you want to do first is just just nip it up just a little bit just so it grabs just like so as you can see it's really grabbed hold of that pipe now so now that we've tightened that up if we undo that and loosen it off you can see that the olives in place and it's not sliding about anymore so now that allows you 
to either wrap some PTFE tape around it. So it's just a matter of applying it on like so and just wrapping it around just a, a few times. This is just done for just a little bit of added sealage when you come to seal the nut and olive together. So basically what it would do is literally give it that added thickness to it to seal it up. And then with your adjustables again, literally tighten it up like so and there you have it one watertight compression fitting on the end of a bit of copper this can be done in any situation obviously I'm showing you just for demonstration purposes at the moment but this can be done anywhere in a property um, as long as you can get access to it. <laughs> but um, what I'm going to show you now is basically, instead of using a bit of PTFE tape, we're going to use a little bit of uh, joining compound um, and see how that one goes as well. Okay, so we've done the same again with the olive. We've just nipped it out just so that it stays in place. Also, this is a brass olive, uh, but you can also get copper olives as well. So um, they're not all brass, they can be copper as well. So, but for this one, um, this one is brass. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our compound. We're gonna get our compound. As you can see. And what we're gonna do, just around this thread, and I always tend to put a little bit inside of here as well where it tapers off. We're gonna um, just apply a little bit of this compound. It's quite gooey, but I swear by this stuff. It's very, very good. So just apply it with your finger. You don't need a lot. Some people tend to put tons of this stuff on, but you really do not need it. So I just put a little tiny bit around the uh, inside there. I don't know if you can see that. A bit of a close up. Just like so. And then insert it in place and then do your nut up. And obviously you would normally tighten this up with your adjustables and your adjustable spanner as well. Do it all nice and tight and these really, really leak to be honest with you. So I like using this more than I like using the PTFE. I do use PTFE quite a lot for radiator fittings and stuff like that, which I can show you in another video. Um, but I do tend to use this. There are two different types out there as well. There's one for um, for drinking water as well. So I think you can use it on normal water. This one is purely for central heating systems and stuff. So, um, but yeah, it's very good stuff. I like using it and um, it's never really failed me. So there you go, guys. That is how a compression fitting works and how to actually use one and install one. This is exactly the same, it's just a different fitting. It's a T fitting, uh, but they all work exactly the same. So guys, I hope you like this video. 
please click that like button and if you've got any comments please comment down below don't forget please subscribe and we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching